time in a fucking memorial. <laughs> but gay men aping heterosexuals, it makes me. <laughs> Please regard me as a man. Please see me as being sexy. <laughs> Well, I suppose if the chips were down, I won't kick you out of bed. <laughs> but you're not real. You're not authentic. We've all been to bed with a grief monkey, haven't we? <laughs> Up and down the scaffolding. <laughs> yeah. Who here haven't had a lucky moment? <laughs> when you've had intimacy with a real man. And he's got his body. Hard body. From his manual work. <laughs> Not from going to the gym four times a week. Because if he was truly honest with himself, he lives in a lonely hell. No carbs after six. <laughs> what are you doing that for, love? Well, I just don't do carbs after sex, you know, I've got zero body fat. Well, I've got that, and I'm almost anorexic. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the perversities of life that the oppressed then dedicate their every waking hour to emulating their very oppressors. Oh, yes. You see these gay men going to the gym. Do you know why that is? Don't! 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 <laughs> Deep down inside, they know they're different. Because if everybody was gay, there'd be no more fucking children. Which I'm all for. <laughs> Please take me seriously. I want to come across as a type of man who might say yes to war with Iraq, to considering the annihilation of Iran and Syria. Please confuse me with the straight men who make these decisions. Please. I don't want you to look at me as being different and dangerous and potentially Hyper-creative! <laughs> I want to castrate myself! I want to emasculate myself! I want to look like those cunts that rule the world! On behalf of all of you that go to the gym. <laughs> Listen, love, what's to bet all about if it isn't about the inner beauty coming fucking out? Oh, but you ignore Tibet, don't you? Because in your little stupid world, you probably don't even talk about it! The Dalai Lama might well not have been born! Pump! <laughs>